Hello guys, my name is Monica Rawal. You are watching No Rating Movie Review, and today we are going to talk about romantic action thriller Malang. Just like this movie, I don't know where to start this review from. The plot, the narrative, the characters, the climax—it's a heady mix, and too much to take it all at one go. Directed by Mohit Suri, Malang begins with a high voltage fight sequence. followed by aditya roy kapoor going on a killing spree switch to flashback we are familiarized with aditya and disha patni's love story cut to present day he's again killing cops back to the past a series of events unfold to reveal the climax that's pretty much the order the film follows to keep you invested set in goa the film shows advait thakur and sara played by aditya and disha a gorgeous couple who meets at a rave party and has a quick flick Advait is a shy boy while Sara is carefree and outgoing She doesn't have a phone is not on social media and has a to-do list of things to overcome her fears Soon they decide to live their life to fullest but an unforeseen encounter with the cops changes their fate and the story turns into a revenge drama In between we meet Ajane Agashe a trigger happy cop played by Anil Kapoor and Michael Rodriguez played by Kunal Kemu who follows righteous ways and prefers investigations over encounters Aditya Roy Kapoor is impressive and his extensive physical transformation adds gravitas to his action packed performance He is restrained and doesn't go overboard This by far is his best on screen act Kunal Kemu is a surprise package to watch out for Despite being evil, you love watching him on screen. He is intense, good-looking and menacing in balanced proportions. Supporting characters including Eli Avram as the hippie with dreadlocks and tattoos, along with Watsal Seth and Keith Sequeira as the cops and Amrita Khanwilkar as an infidel partner have done a decent job in taking the story forward. I quite liked how each character has a fairly convincing backstory. justifying their actions and reactions on screen they have experienced pain which reflects in their good or bad doings do not miss out for the quirky disclaimers that pop up each time there is a drug consumption scene on screen don't be insane drugs ruin the brain nashe ki maar barbaad kar de aadmi aur parivar addicts don't get old they die young they read far better than watching the disgusting non smoking ads before the film Music is one of the strongest points of Malang. The title track strikes the right chord and Firna Mile Kabhi in Ankit Tiwari's melodious voice cuts through your heart. Malang suffers from a wafer thin plot that can potentially give you a headache. At 2 hours 20 minutes it looks way too dragged. After the curious first half, the second half doesn't come with any wow worthy moments. Even the two big reveals do not turn out to be as big as you would expect. The predictable storyline leaves you with very little to guess. Disha Patni deserves an applause for showing off her abs more than her acting chops. Even her dialogues are as blah as it gets. Imagine when she says, "I want to eat everything I can for a day" or "Main cheezon ko nahi yaade collect karungi." What is that even supposed to mean? Anil Kapoor is okay but not extraordinary. While his character sketch could genuinely have been the most interesting, it ends up looking gimmicky at times. Director Mohit Suri has clearly taken cues from his previous films Kaliyog, Aashiqui 2 and Ek Villain. So much so that at many places Malang seems like pieces from his earlier works put together. Also, I don't understand what's with Bollywood filmmakers stereotyping Goa to merely a destination that's about drugs, parties, murders, on a repeat mode. Watch Malang if you really must. It rides on the thrill quotient, has some good performances and a stunning heroine, but that's about it. The plot ends up looking like a mockery of a subject that definitely needed a better storytelling. Check out the full review on hindustantimes.com. This is me signing off for now. See you next week.